North Carolina is set to become the 30th state to offer legal sports betting. For sports fanatics like Kyle Webb, it's a great way to connect with close friends. I think it's a really fun activity or hobby. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, for crazy money and be responsible about it. To legally place his bets, he travels from North Carolina to Virginia. I like to keep it legal, like by the book. So I'm going to drive up to Virginia. So my wife makes fun of me. I go up there maybe, you know, every weekend, uh, every Sunday morning, I grab my Biscuitville biscuit and make my way up there before church. Next month, Webb will be able to place his wagers on his favorite teams in his home state of North Carolina. He says he knows gambling can be taboo and uses his judgment at all times. Responsibility is the key with, with sports gambling and sports betting and knowing what your limits are and, you know, being able to walk away is really important. Organizations like the American Gaming Association has rules in place to promote safe and responsible sports betting. It recommends participants have a game plan, set a budget, and know the odds of the game you're playing. The online tax rate for sports betting in North Carolina is 18 percent. For North Carolina, that means added revenue for the state to put towards the general fund, towards the education system, and importantly, towards problem gambling services and responsible gambling education. In the meantime, some people say they're getting ready for sports gambling to go live. As a joke, I decided to make this uh, for the Super Bowl. So I put together all my different bets and uh, my prediction for the score for tonight, too. So if this ends up being the real score, I'm going to look like a genius. Online sports betting starts March 11th statewide. Giselle Thomas, WFMY News 2.